Welcome to the Lady Yum Yum Show. Today we're continuing our Beat the Heat series with a pasta salad, as requested by Half Blood Hufflepuff. That's a mouthful. Uh, one of our YouTube viewers. So let's get started with a shallot. We're going to mince the shallot. This is about a third of it. So I'm just going to mince it. A shallot's kind of like a cross between an onion and garlic. So it's strong onion or mild garlic, whichever way you want to look at it. We're just going to give this a very fine mince. You don't want it to be too, um, too big of pieces. You wouldn't cut it as big as onion pieces and not quite as fine as garlic pieces. And I've already chopped the other two pieces. So in total, I have between a third and a half a cup of minced shallot. Now we'll put the shallot in a salad bowl along with the liquids we'll use for our vinaigrette. Now traditional French vinaigrette uses uh, three parts oil to one part vinegar. And of course that's too high fat for Lady Yum Yum. So I'm going to cut that down quite a bit. I have a quarter cup of vegetable stock and I'm going to use a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar and a quarter cup of uh, red vinegar. Now we'll pour this mixture over our shallots and we'll let them just meld together while we make our pasta. I'm going to use a half a pound of penette pasta. So if you can get it, the penette is a little smaller than the penne pasta and I like it because it's a, a good size for a salad. We'll cook it till it's al dente. We want to test it and make sure it has a little bite to it. You don't want mushy pasta. We'll add ice to stop the cooking process because we want our penne to stay al dente. And then we'll rinse it really well to get some of the starch off it so it doesn't get sticky while it waits to be mixed with the other ingredients. Now we're ready to complete our vinaigrette. The first thing we're going to do is a big spoonful of Dijon mustard. I like this stuff, so I'm going to do about two teaspoons. Dijon mustard is actually an important component. You don't want to skip it. It actually acts as the emulsifier or the binder between the vinegars and the oils. It'll keep the two from separating, so don't skip it. Now we'll add a teaspoon of tarragon. Tarragon's a classic French spice. It's kind of a florally smell and adds a bittersweet flavor. If you don't have tarragon, you could use chive or parsley or herbs de Provence if you have that in your cabinet or leave out the seasoning and just put some salt and pepper. So I'm going to add some salt and we'll adjust the salt and pepper after we add the pasta too. About, a teaspoon, about half a teaspoon that was. And I like black pepper, so I'm going to add tons. I'm adding about a half a teaspoon. Now I'll add a quarter cup of olive oil. Now, you know, if you want a little more fat, you can add a little bit more olive oil. This is a very light version. Now I'll slowly drizzle in the oil as I whisk. And I only have a little whisk. You want to use the full size one. I just didn't have my big one in this kitchen yet. So here I go. I'm whisking as just drizzling it in. There we go, we have a beautiful mixture. Everything looks well mixed and it's staying together in our vinaigrette. So we'll add our pasta. Now it looks like a lot of liquid for the pasta, but the pasta is actually going to soak up a lot of this liquid. So it's not as much as it looks like. There we go. Oh, sorry. There we go. So we'll just swirl this around 
And again, as this chills in the fridge, this vinaigrette will soak into the al dente pasta and you'll get the flavor in every bite of your pasta salad. It's already soaking in. Push it aside, you'll see that. Now I'll add the asparagus, which I made earlier. And I've cut it into a similar shape as my penette pasta. The other thing I like to do is boil the big stockier pieces first and reserve the tips. I just throw them in at the last minute or so. And then I put everything in an ice bath to stop the cooking and seal in the bright green. Now I like to add some mushrooms, which I've also cut in approximately the same shape as the penne. I like the texture this adds, but if you don't like mushrooms, don't put them in. There we go. Now I'm using white mushrooms and I've cut them in about the same shape as the penne pasta. There we go, everything's stirred real well. Just gonna give it a little taste. Make sure my seasoning's right. Mmm, that's really good. Just a little bit of pepper. <laughs> I told you, I like my pepper. Okay, I'm going to cover this and put it in the fridge. And after it's sat for a couple hours, I'll be back to try it again. Doesn't that look great? I can't wait to eat it. I'm just going to garnish it with a little bit of machango a type of Spanish cheese. You could try adding other proteins as well. White beans and tofu work really well, as does feta cheese. Anything works. It's a great dish. Let me get a bite with both the penne and the asparagus. Ooh, asparagus tip too. Mmm. It tastes so good. The combination of the tartness of the vinaigrette along with the asparagus and the penne is just delicious. I hope you give this a try. Enjoy. See you next time.